आई एम डॉक्टर नितिन कुमार राजपूत सीनियर कंसल्टेंट कार्डियक सर्जरी नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल गुड़गांव टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हार्ट वेल्व सर्जरी टू इंट्रोड्यूस हार्ट वेल्व्स आर टू टाइप्स देर आर टू इनलेट वेल्व्स एंड टू आउटलेट वेल्व्स सो देर आर फोर वेल्व्स इन द हार्ट टू रिमेन्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड टू रिमेन्स ऑन द राइट साइड हार्ट वेल्व कैन बी प्रॉब्लमैटिक बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन्स फर्स्ट इज द कंजनाइटल विच रिमेन्स प्रॉब्लमैटिक सिंस बर्थ and other one is acquired which we get in our life acquired if we divide into two major group can be rheumatic heart disease or can be because of degenerative disease heart valves can create two types of problems either it can leak or it can become stenosed which means smaller in size out of this disease few patients when they begin are advised medical treatment when medical treatment is optimized they can live for few years but after that if disease becomes severe well surgery is being advised to those patients now if we talk about well surgery there are two methods of doing well surgeries one is the conventional method and other one is minimally invasive well surgery in conventional method we give a 10 to 12 inches incision in front of the chest and the sternum or the breast bone is split into two pieces and well surgery is completed after surgery is completed we fix sternum by steel wire in comparison other method is called minimally invasive well surgery in which in comparison to conventional surgery only 2 to 3 inches incision is given on the right side of the chest and surgery is completed via a natural space between two ribs now this surgery can be of two types either well can be repaired or it can be replaced by an artificial well majority of rheumatic heart disease these valves is being replaced but majority of degenerative valves can be repaired if we talk about minimally invasive cardiac surgery this is the latest advancement in the field of heart valve surgery there are many benefits of doing heart valve surgery by small incision first is it's a no bone cut incision so there is less pain less blood loss less chances of infection shorter hospital stay and patient can go back to his work earlier than the conventional way in conventional way there are so many precautions being taken up to 3 months till the bone is getting strength back but in minimal invasive cardiac surgery this period is only about 2 to 3 weeks so if we talk about uh, uh, data we can operate it up to 80% of uh, well surgeries by minimal invasive method especially those patient who are having other complication or having associated uh, cardiac surgery along with valve they are best suitable for conventional way if patient is having single valve disease or double valve disease including mitral valve and aortic valve they can also get operated by the minimally invasive technique in which we don't split the uh, sternum bone in a incomplete way but cut in a half way so that operation can be done easily so suitable patient uh, which are being selected by examination or few tests like ct scan we decide those patient to get the maximum benefit of minimally invasive cardiac surgery